What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to go over uh, wide angle lenses uh, for sports photography. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me to make a video for this uh, topic, so let's just jump right into it. I'm going to try to keep it for both Nikon and Canon shooters because I know that there are Nikon shooters out there. And for those of you who are Nikon shooters, I apologize that I don't have the actual product in front of me. I only have Canon, but I'm going to try to keep you guys included in it because I know that the Nikon side matters as well. So. Oh, also, sorry if I sound kind of weird. I'm a little bit sick right now. I have a bit of a cold. But anyway, so wide-angle lenses. Uh, which one should you purchase? Um, also keep in mind that this is just uh, my take on it. Uh, this isn't a fact. This is just my personal opinion on the whole entire wide-angle side of photography uh, and just what I personally choose to do. So just uh, keep that in mind and don't feel like if you own a, a different lens that uh, ones I've recommended that you've owned the wrong lens or you bought the wrong lens if you just bought one or whatever it may be. Uh, any lens will work. These are just my recommendations. Um, and also I'm going to show you some picture examples as I go over uh, each lens and show you photos that I took with that lens. So as you can see I've got three lenses here uh, starting from, uh, well this is backwards for me, hold on. Okay. <laughs> starting from the, the left, yes, the left, <laughs> sorry, sorry from the left. We've got the Canon 8 to 15 millimeter f4.0 fisheye lens. Uh, really great lens. I love this lens. Um, very uh, specific, uh, I guess you could say. As if you guys watched my video on the telephoto lenses, I said that like the 300 and the 600 and 800 are for specific shots. Well, this is where this one would be at. It's equivalent to like a 600 millimeter or uh, 800 millimeter. It's kind of unique. It's for specific types of shots. I mean, I guess it's a little bit more different than the 600 and 800 because those two telephotos are for like wildlife, but this, the fisheye doesn't have a like specific genre of photography. And even like if we're breaking it down in, into just sports, it doesn't have a use for a, just one specific sport. It's just used for those specific shots. So keep that in mind when you, uh, if you're browsing for a wide angle to purchase. It's not something you should buy right off the bat as your first wide angle lens. I would not recommend it. It's an amazing lens. I love this lens. I use it for anything I can because I have it. But as your first wide angle lens, I would not recommend the fisheye. Uh, any fisheye for that matter, whether it's Nikon or a third uh, off party brand uh, or third party brand, uh, Canon, whatever. I, I wouldn't recommend it as your first wide angle lens. It's a very uh, special, unique lens that's for certain shots. It's almost like a tilt shift lens, I guess you could say. It has those, it's for specific things. Uh, next up in the middle, we've got the Canon 16 to 35 uh, 2.8 uh, Mark II. This is a very popular lens. Um, I see almost every sports shooter on the sidelines or at any event that they have multiple bodies. Uh, they will have this lens. Uh, if they don't have this lens, I always see them uh, have the 2470. Uh, it's one or the other. Uh, that's what just that's that's what I see. But for the 1635, the reason it's so popular is just number one, it's 2.8. Uh, that does matter in certain uh, locations where you have bad lighting. Uh, it's it's just an amazing lens. Yes, it's pricey. Uh, but it's it's well worth it in my opinion. I really like it. I use it for almost everything when it comes to the wide angle side of stuff. It just has the, and also I don't really use it for the zoom. I just I most I think I can vouch for any photographer that does sports that has this lens. They're using it for the 16 millimeter side of it, and the zoom. I mean it's there just in case you need it, but I never use it. But that 16 millimeter focal length is just perfect for celebration shots or um, full view of a stadium and the other lens that is good for the full view of a stadium that's where the fish I can pop in I guess you can say is for like stadium shots for uh, sports whether it's a football stadium or soccer arena or hockey whatever it may be that's usually where the 8 to 15 shines there's other things too like with hockey you can uh, shoot through the glass when they're someone's gonna get checked through the right up against you or uh, for instance, uh, this shot right here, it has the mascot from the Anaheim Ducks coming up to the glass, touching my lens. Uh, it just has a specific, like I said, it's for specific types of things. It's not your go-to everyday lens. It's there for certain sports and certain times where you want a certain shot. 
With the 1635, this is the everyday go-to lens for wide angle for sports photography, in my personal opinion. The one that goes right behind that would be the 2470. This is a uh, the 2470 millimeter 2.8 Mark II, and I gotta tell you, this lens is amazing. It's sharper than the 70 to 200 millimeter 2.8 IS Mark II, uh, surprisingly. It's it's a beautiful lens. It's very expensive, but what it's used for, what I use it for personally, you know. If I'm, it's, it's hard. I, I kind of, I, I, I got, what's the word? I juggled back and forth between these two lenses uh, as for my third bar, my body, <laughs> my third body. Um, the reason is it depends what sport I'm shooting. Say I'm shooting football. I think the 2470 is a better option to have it on a third body because the first lens, the first body will have the 400 millimeter attached. And on my right side hip, I'll have the 7200 attached to another body. And on my third, my, or on my left side, on my hip, on the third body, I'll have the 2470. The reason I have the 2470 instead of the 1635 is for when I'm in the end zone. And if the off chance someone dies at the corner of the end zone that I am at, the 7200 is probably going to be too much reach at that point. That's where a 2470 really shines, and it's fast too, and it does the job well. When those when those moments happen, this is where that lens shines. Now, I do see people too use this for um, you know celebration stuff, like after a football game when everyone floods the field, uh, and they're getting people you know shaking hands and hugging. Uh, you can use this lens for that too. There's there's really, there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, in my opinion, I mean you can go either way for um, the wide angle side. I think it just comes down to these two these two lenses, in my opinion. Yeah, you've got primes. You've got the 24 millimeter prime that Canon has, and Icon has the 24 millimeter prime. They have the 1424, uh, great lens. I've heard. I've never used one for the Nikon 14 millimeter 24. I've never used it, but I've heard that it's a very, very sharp lens, if not one of the sharpest lenses uh, ever made right now for wide angle side of things. Um, but it just, the, as far as focal length goes, it comes down to either the 1635 or 2470 for wide angle side of sports. Uh, you can go either way. Um, if it helps you guys out, um, the first one I got was the 1635. And I would recommend getting this as your first one. After that, I would say 2470. I, I find the 2470 more of a, you know, family group, uh, wedding, portraiture lens type of deal, and which I think is what they were aiming it to be used for. However, it's, it's definitely got the, AF speed and the quality for sports, and it is, it is used for sports all the time. It's just for very specific things. Also, basketball. That's another one. This is a very, very good focal length for basketball when you are wanting to get a wider shot of someone doing a layup or going up for a point or two points with basketball. This is perfect. That's something I should have thrown out there, so keep that in mind. Uh, but as far as, like, you know, you want to have a all around wide angle sports lens, I would I would definitely say the 1635. The 1635 is just perfect in my opinion. Um, so that's it for this video pretty much. I hope it helped you guys out. So in a nutshell, uh, if you guys needed to pick one wide angle lens for sports photography, it would definitely be the 1635. Uh, ugh, 1635. Um, after that, 2470. You can go 2470 first, it doesn't matter. Uh, Either one works. And then if you guys got some extra cash and you already own these lenses or you just got a bunch of money, you can buy all three at once, then just pick up the 8-15 to 15, uh, Canon F4 fisheye lens. Great lens. Uh, it has its purpose. It's just, it is ex very expensive. There's also a 15mm 2.8 that Canon has. I think it's discontinued though, I'm not sure. But I've used it before and it's a great lens. But the fisheyes, I would pick up as the last one if you're going to pick one up. They are expensive, um, but they are great and they have their purpose. They're just a little bit pricey for occasional uses, you know what I mean? So I hope this video helped you guys out. Um, leave, in, leave comments uh, and thank you guys for all your support. Um, really appreciate it. It's been pushing me to make some new videos and give you guys some new material to check out. Uh, also, if you guys haven't seen it, uh, check my channel out for the uh, links to my Twitter and my Instagram. Uh, follow me on either one or both if you guys have uh, your own accounts for both uh, both Twitter and Instagram. Uh, feel free to ask me questions at any time on either one of those. Um, I'll answer them as soon as I can. And thanks a lot, guys, for all the support. I just thank you. It, I already have over a thousand subscribers, and 
I know it's not that much in YouTube world, but for the short amount of time that I've been really active on this channel, it seems to be pretty, pretty good for me in my opinion. But thank you guys. I hope this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. I really would appreciate it. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, welcome. I just uh, cover sports photography and anything that's sports photography related. So see you guys next time. Thank you.